Hi, I'm James Muir, and this is a screencast for Make More Noise. We're going to do something again slightly different today. Uh, we're going to have a look at another free plugin. It's the sort of thing we've done in the past, and this is a high and low pass filter from a company called Brainworks. So, as you can see, I've got Safari, my web browser, open on my screen, and I'm just going to do a quick Google search for Brainworks, which is spelt with an X at the end, if memory serves. Yep, yeah, there you go. And uh, first up in the Google list is their home page. And if you go straight to this downloads link, you'll see you've got uh, all of their downloads available on this page. And the one we're looking for, as you come down, is Clean Sweep version 2. I've been playing with the version 1 version for a little while now. Uh, and I got an email yesterday saying that V2 is now available. So let's have a look at that. OK, the first thing it's going to do is ask us for an email address and then give us a tick box for which product we require. And then you've got a security code you need to enter just to make sure you're not spamming them. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get this downloading, cut away, and I'll come back to you in a second. OK, so I pretty much immediately got an email link uh, which I've clicked on to start downloading. And as you can see, the unit itself is downloading here. It's a 7.3 meg download, so it should be down in 50 odd seconds. No need for you to sit and watch that, so let me just pause, and once this is downloaded, I'll run you through the next stage. OK, download's finished, and uh, we've got the standard installer box up on the screen. Uh, this is cool because it's not one of those plugins that just comes blank and you have to drag it to the right location. So you can just follow the prompts on the uh, on-screen installer, which I'll do now. So continue, read the license carefully, make sure you're happy with what they're asking for. Continue. Yes, I agree with the license. Uh, don't need to change the install location. I just want it in the standard location. And then hopefully it should ask me for a name and a password. So my admin name is James Muir and my password is a secret. OK, why is that an invalid username? Because I haven't capitalized the J. Let me try that again. There you go. Brilliant. So the next time we launch Logic, we should have a shiny new plugin installed that costs no money. So I'm going to cut away, launch Logic, get this up and running on the screen, and I'll give you a quick run through. All right, so we've got Logic open, got a drum loop inserted on an audio channel, and we go across to the plugin drop down to audio units. Then we're looking for Brainworks, and here we go Clean Sweep version 2, stereo, because it's a stereo audio file. OK, so this is the actual plugin, which is a high and low pass filter built into one unit. Now, you can replicate most of what this plugin does in Logic. There's a couple of advantages to this in that it's a nice, simple user interface. Um, it's quite a shallow slope on the filter, which makes it very musical rather than very surgical. And it also happens to be really nice sounding. Um, there's three separate ways you can interact with it. You've got a joystick here, which as you move in the high pass axis, you can see is taking down the amount of highs. If you sweep across to the low pass, you can see it doing the same with the lows. And then if you put it bang in the middle, you end up with something that looks just like a hump. So joystick is option number one. Then you've got two rotary knobs here, which uh, that's the low pass on the left, and that's the high pass on the right. And thirdly and finally, you can type values straight into this box here. So if you wanted it to start rolling off at 120 hertz, you just type in 120, hit the enter button, and then we want it going all the way up to, let's say for argument's sake, 8K, so 8,000. And there you go, so just typing in the values. In addition to those other controls, you've also got a phase reverse switch up here, and a gain control, so if you've not got enough level coming in or too much level coming in, you can tweak that in either direction. OK, so what do you use high and low pass filters for? Well, I think the easiest way to think about them is to clear out the muck you don't need from a sound. So if you're tracking a vocal, for example, you're going to find that there's not a lot going on down in the very low frequencies and in the very high frequencies. So using these nice shallow filter curves, you could set it for argument's sake on a vocal at 90 hertz and maybe something like 12k maybe even a little bit higher depending on how you've tracked it i've obviously not typed that in right so 12,000. let me do that again and what that's doing is it's taking out from the sound the stuff that's not going to make a lot of difference you're not going to perceive it in a mix so if you've got a huge bass drum sound massive big bass 
you know, the vocal's not going to be kicking a lot of energy from 90 hertz downwards. And this nice shallow curve that you can see there slowly, gently removes that unnecessary material. In addition to that, you can use high and low pass filters for more creative effects. So if you want to take a sound and narrow it down so it's very mid-rangey, for example, in the way that you would telephone a vocal or make it sound like a loud hailer kind of sound on a vocal. Um, and, you know, pretty much everything in a mix would benefit from this. I mean, there's always going to be sounds that are going to want the extreme bottom end. There's always going to be sounds that want the extreme high end. But most of the energy is going to be concentrated in the mids. So by dialing in a low and a high pass filter, you can focus the sound to where you want it to be. The other thing you can do with this, which I think is the next thing I'll show you, is if you've got two loops and you want to run them together and uh, you've got the bottom end clashing or the high end clashing, you can use this to narrow the sound down so it fits more easily with the other sounds you've already got in your mix. So very quick demonstration just on a drum loop on its own. Um, so we will just bypass that for a second. Then I'll bring it back into play and then I will move these knobs in real time so you can actually hear what it's doing to the sound. So let's go to the extreme settings. So we've got very little in the way of high pass, very little in the way of low pass, and it will sound like this. Okay, so that was both frequencies swept and swept back from their extremes. And I think what that demonstrates really nicely is how musical sounding this EQ is. So rather than destroying the sound, you're shaping it. Okay, let me sh cut away from this. I'll find another loop that sort of goes with this one, and then we'll use the filters on this to make the two fit together nice and neatly. Okay, so I've dragged in another audio loop here, uh, which is a remix clap effect, which sounds like this on its own. With the two together, um, what you're getting is a nice extra sense of rhythm because the two beats are quite different and what this one does is very nicely fills in the gaps uh, on the main more acoustic sounding drum loop and gives it a more driving feel. So with the two together, um, I've adjusted the levels so that they're a little bit better balanced. Let me just show you that. Okay, that sounds great, but what I want to do is I want to make this second part more like a percussion part rather than a completely new beat in its own right. So using the Brainworks filter, I'm going to make it sound a bit smaller. So if I hold down the Apple key when I drag on this plugin, I can just move it across to the second channel we've created. Let's just open up the interface for that and I'll close down the mixer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use these um, rotary controls to sweep across the frequencies until I get to the point where I'm happy with the way that the two are sitting together. And I'm going to do that by using this to roll off the extreme top and the extreme, sorry, the extreme top, he says putting the mouse in the right place, and the extreme bottom so that the two fit together much better. Let's have a listen to that. <laughs> Okay, I'm happy with that. So what I've done there is I've rolled off the extreme bottom end, as I said, and the extreme top end, and what that's enabled me to do is to treat this second loop much more like it's a percussion part. So it's taking the place of a more traditional shaker or tambourine style effect, and I've done that by narrowing down the frequencies we're hearing. Uh, so that's high and low pass filters using the Brainworks Clean Sweep. You can do the same stuff with the uh, inbuilt Logic plugins using their high and low pass filter. But uh, what I said, uh, I'll go back to what I said earlier, which is that I very, very much like the sound of the uh, Brainworks Clean Sweep, 
and because it's got the high and low pass all in one interface makes it nice and simple and quick to use so get yourself across to their website download that very tasty freebie i've been james muir i hope some of you have found this useful thanks a lot for watching